Thank you. You're Thank welcome. You just like one last thing. It's right here. Thank you so much. You're welcome, my beautiful wife. Did you say that because you know the camera's on? Pretty much. <laughs> so I am really hoping that I'm going to be in focus in this video. Usually I have my laptop set up next to me and I use the screen as a monitor to kind of keep track of what I'm filming. However, my precious, beautiful daughter figured out how to take the lid off of her sippy cup and decided to drown the computer. What did the computer ever do to her? I don't really know, but it's gone. Rest in peace. Today's video, I'm going to be talking about some of the things that I've absolutely been loving lately. They are all beauty products, from what I can tell. Because truly the only things I love in life other than my family are beauty products and food. I'm just going to jump right in. I have a feeling this video might be a little bit long, so I'm just going to start it right off with my first favorite, which is this guy right here. The Dry Bars Triple Sec Spray. It's a 3-in-1. It texturizes, amplifies, and refreshes. I started using this to replace my Orbe Dry Texturizing Spray, which I would put in my hair after I curled it to kind of just like give it a little bit more zhuzh, give it a little more texture, a little more life. That bottle, however, of Orbe is very expensive. This one, I'll have to check the price, so I'll put it right here. I'm pretty sure it's significantly cheaper. I grabbed this last time I was at Dry Bar. I might like this more than the Orbe spray, which I don't, I can't put like into words why. I like this smell better. Something about the texture that this gives, I prefer, I think it's, Maybe it feels a little more powdery, but it's not powdery, like, I don't have words. I use this all the time now. This is my new go-to. It smells so good. Uh, it smells like sugary, but like, like a tropical sugary. I don't really know how to describe it, but I absolutely love it. Highly recommend this. Bomb combination with a curling wand. This is just a Nume curling wand. This looks like it's probably a one and a half inch barrel. With this, gold. Love it. Perfect for like, you know, crazy wild waves. The last video I did where I talked about getting beachy loose waves, I actually wanted to use this one because this is more of my go-to, but I could not find it anywhere. So I just used my basic curling iron, which I find doesn't give you quite as smooth of a look. This one is a lot better at smoothing it out, and I just absolutely love this. So this is my favorite moisturizing skin product right now. It's by Neutrogena. It's the Hydro Gel, Hydro Boost Water Gel. It has hyaluronic acid in it, which is supposed to help your skin maintain moisture, um, like temporarily, not forever. Uh, but it's just super lightweight. It's like it really feels like water on your skin and I absolutely love this I did a whole blog post about this because it was a sponsored post but since then I've truly genuinely been using it I'm not getting paid anymore to talk about this I just love it it's drugstore it's awesome it has a really nice medicinal smell to it if you are trying to get into moisture moisturizing products and anti-aging products but you're a little uh, nervous about going in with heavy creams because maybe you have an issue with oiliness or you have issues with breaking out, try a gel formula. This one is a great one. Highly recommend it. Go check it out. You can find it at Target. I'm sure you can get it at Walmart, anywhere else. The next skin product, I've only had this for 48 hours. So can I say it's a favorite? I don't know 100% for sure, but so far I absolutely love it. I had a great first impression of it. It came in the mail because they sent it to me to review on Instagram, but I actually like it so much that I figured I would just throw it in this video last minute. It's by the brand Puristry, which you can find at Anthropology. It is 100% natural, eco-friendly. See, I could read the back of it. No artificial fragrances, chemical preservative, preservatives, sulfates, harsh detergents, synthetic colors, parabens, petrochemicals, GMOs, silicones, glycols, plus a, hun plus a thousand other toxins. The bottling, the packaging is just so cute, but it's the Yerba Mate Eye Cream. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Don't kill me if it's not. Um, it's just, I love this smell. It's got an earthy smell, but not overpowering. And it's really smooth. 
I can't say whether or not it's doing anything amazing for my eye area because like I said, I've only had it for a couple of days. But, oh, smell, I love that smell. Previously I was using a uh, retinol cream. I like the feel of this one better. So I would recommend checking this out. You can check it out at anthropology.com or you can run into your local anthropology store and spend $500 while you're in there. But check this out, it's awesome. So now we're going to move on to makeup, which is my favorite thing in the whole world. The first thing that I'm gonna talk about is the Jaclyn Hill palette by Morphe, which if you watch YouTube videos, you've probably seen this a million times, but I just love it because it's so pretty. I've had other Morphe palettes in the past. This one I feel like performs, does perform a little bit better. Um, but the colors are just beautiful. I mainly stay up here in this space. This is where I like to live with the pinks and the maroons and stuff. These like shimmery toned ones are just so pretty. These blue and purple shades are stunning in person and I just want to like play in them because truthfully I don't feel like it's a great color for my skin tone and my eye tone. Because the couple of times that I did a look with them, I felt like I ended up looking like a Malibu Barbie or something. But they're just so pretty, especially that dark royal blue shade. Like, I just want to, like, I just want to, like, play with it. So pretty. Such a great palette. Highly recommend it. I use this every single day now. It's my go-to palette. I hardly ever use anything else on my eyes anymore. So, super awesome. Check it out. So, uh, I mentioned this in my last makeup video. It's the Sonia Kashuk Foundation Stick. I think it's one of her like invisible formulas. I'm not sure. But it is like a super lightweight formula. I love to wear this late, like I said in my last video, just kind of in the summertime for a lightweight feel. I have been loving this. I think I mentioned in my last video that I didn't like it at first because I think I was just like so used to full coverage. And I just grabbed this on a whim when I was at Target, not knowing what to expect. But for lighter days, I love this. I just draw in a few streaks and then buff it out with a brush and it's perfect. My next product is by Charlotte Tilbury. It is the Airbrush Flawless Finish Skin Perfecting Micro Powder. It comes in the prettiest package on earth. I would say that I love this powder and I would totally buy it again. However, for a woman like me, this is extremely overpriced. Uh, it runs about $50. If you are used to luxury makeup brands and you're used to luxury used to luxury prices, then this is probably just normal for you. For me, it's not normal. Um, but I love this. It has such a just a beautiful finished look when you put it on. So the way that I typically use this is I will apply my foundation, my concealer, the Sonia Kasha cream bronzer, all of the like wet products, and then I'll actually set it with. A different powder like airspun, derma, derma blend, whatever I have, something a little bit cheaper, just a translucent powder. And then I will go in and do all my powdered products like my blushes, my bronzer, whatever I'm gonna do. And then I finish it by just like taking a loose powder brush and just like kind of lightly buffing, not buffing, just like lightly brushing this all over my face and it just gives it this beautiful finished like kind of flawless airbrushed look. It also I feel like helps with if you are like me and not perfect at applying blush and bronzer in the exact like you know detailed spots. This of going over with this is a great way to sort of blend everything in together and make it look more natural. And then once I'm done with that, I go in with my setting spray to get rid of any kind of like powdery look. But I do love this. I do recommend it. If you have $50 to spend on a powder, please check this out because it's awesome. I got mine from Nordstrom. Um, you can probably also just get it from the Charlotte Tilbury website. I will link it for you below. I have it in the color Fair because I am a light woman. The next thing that I've been loving is the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. I mentioned this in a video before and I mentioned how I wasn't going to buy this until I ran out of the mascaras that I don't like, but I couldn't help myself. It was like $8 at Target one day, so I just grabbed it. The very first time I used it, I think I was expecting something different because it had been raved about by everyone forever so much. And I was just kind of like, eh, this is nothing new, like I have better mascaras than this. but. I don't know, sometimes I feel like if you don't like a mascara at first and you just let it chill and sort of like kind of let the product not dry out but just like let it be exposed to the air a little bit, it sort of, 
maybe it gets like a thicker texture I don't know I don't understand science and makeup but after like maybe the second or third use I realized that I just really love this so this is my current go-to mascara I use this more than my better than sex mascara I think because it gives you a slightly thinner look I feel like it's just a great combination for volume and lengthening I would check this out. It's probably my current favorite drugstore mascara. It's so cute. It comes in a little pink bottle. Bye L'Oreal. Check it out. That's all I got for you. So now I am going to go clean the house. I don't want to clean the house. I'm going to go clean, I guess. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of my face, and even if you don't, you can find me on Instagram at Brittany underscore Como. I'll spell it out for you because I'm pretty sure no one knows how to spell Como. You can find me on Twitter at Brit Como Blog. You can find me on Facebook at Brit Como Blog. I will link it all for you down below. Please check it out. Please come be my friend. Say hi. Tell me you found me on YouTube. I'll say hi back and we'll just feel like best friends forever. But that's it. I hope you have a great weekend, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye. I want people to love me. <laughs>